Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sideline Report. Marvin Jackson here, and we are joined by Shaylin Moore. And she's gonna talk a little college football with us, but first, let's update you. Maryland loses to Penn State, and we won't even talk about the score. Uh, but Maryland has one more game to win to be bowl eligible. And coming up is Nebraska. Then they have Michigan and then Rutgers. Lou Holder, I'm sure, knows all about that game. But Maryland has to win one of those games to be bowl eligible. So just wanted to update you on Maryland. And now let's talk some CIAA football. And Shaylin Moore knows all about that. There was a big game this past weekend, Virginia Union versus Virginia State. And Shaylin, talk about that game, the, the implications of that game, because it's more than just qualifying to get into the CIAA championship, which those two teams were trying to do, but it's just a big rivalry, right? Right. Speaking of that, so not only is it a big rivalry, but it's also a game that really, it depended on who was going to the CIAA championship for the Northern Division. So you have Fayetteville, they clinched the South a week early. So this game, both teams came into it with the 8-1 record. And then you have that down the road rivalry. Both teams are just approximately 30 minutes away. So it was a great matchup. I think one of the things that VSU will probably go back and wish they could have done different. You can't talk about this game without talking about that catastrophic kicking performance. They missed three field goals, all two 33 yarders, a 39 yarder, and then they missed the extra point kick, which ended up being returned for two points for Virginia Union. That was a pivotal moment right there early in the game because that kick could have tied the game for the Trojans, but instead they go down by two points. So you have to really look at what the Trojans could have done better from that perspective of special teams. And that's something that I think anyone that was a VSU fan probably had nightmares watching Sunday football and watching anybody kick the ball. Not only that, but you had some amazing top talent in those games with Jada Byers for the Panthers. He's an amazing running back. He led the nation in yards, Division One, Two, and Three last year. And he came right back this year and showed people that, you know, he wasn't letting up. So he did what he's going to do, and the Trojans had to find an answer for him. But not only that, he scored his only touchdown in the air. So that really allowed Union to kind of show that they're not just this one-sided ground attack offense. They actually got four touchdowns in the air. Christian, he led that. So the Panthers were really – a able to show their ability to not only run the ball, but also score in the air, whereas the Trojans really had their work cut out. I'm really impressed with their passing game this year because I knew all about Jada Byers and that running game, but the passing game has been so much better, and they've included Byers in that passing game. So it it worked really well against Virginia State. I love that rivalry. I remember back in the day it used to be the Gold Bowl. And they'd play that game, Virginia State, Virginia Union. It was kind of like the Tar Heels versus the Blue Devils, you know, down in North Carolina. But it's always been a great rivalry, and I I knew it was going to be a good game. But I actually had thought that Virginia State might pull it out. I have to say the same. And, I mean, if you look at what Coach Frazier was able to do in just a short two-year time frame with that Virginia State team, It really gave nostalgia of back when Coach Latrell Scott led the Trojans and he was able to turn that program around, lead them to a championship appearance and more. So I think they're definitely building something special. I would definitely keep an eye out on them. But then also, again, I'll speak to the players that they have on these teams. So Willie Drew, he was actually invited to the Shrine Bowl, the first player in Virginia State history and the only CIAA player to be invited. So that'll be played at Dallas Stadium. But those are the kind of players that really were in that matchup that stood out. We're looking to see if he gets drafted. I think he's very strong and high on that list to, you know, get another draftee from Virginia State to the league. And then you also just have to give credit to Virginia Union. I think in critical moments of that game where they could have let up, they made the crucial plays, especially in the fourth quarter. All three drives in the fourth quarter quarter ended with a sack on third and goal 
a tackle for a large loss on third and gold. And then you have that interception that was picked off. So that's how Virginia Union's defense ended that game. And I think when you play like that, you deserve to go to a championship. All right. And who do you favor in that championship game? For Fayetteville me? State's been there for a long time. They keep going back in the South. And you have to respect that, but I think you also have to look at some critical things. Fayetteville State's last three games, they've won by, they've been on the ropes. They've been on the ropes. They've won the last three or more by less than a touchdown or a touchdown. They've actually only beat one opponent by more than a touchdown this season. So I don't think this is the same Fayetteville State team we're used to seeing. And I think Virginia Union is desperate. They're hungry. And they they won a shot at a CIAA championship. So I think you have to pay attention to that. Both teams played last September in September. It was a three point game. But I think that this Virginia Union team is totally different. And I think I'm going to have to roll with them. All right. And I agree with you. I think the the Panthers, Virginia Union, I think they're going to pick up the championship this weekend. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Shaylin. And you got to come back and talk some more football. Real quick, we got a few seconds. Who do you think is going to win this weekend out in Seattle? Washington, Seattle. I can tell you who needs to win. The commanders definitely need a win if they're going to try to stay in the fight to see the postseason. But I have to say, I believe Seattle's going to get it. They they have a chip on their shoulder after that huge loss. And then they also need this win just as much to try to reclaim the division. So... Both teams need to win, but I think I'm going to have to go with Seattle on this one. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And you'll be seeing so much more of Shaylin Moore here on Sideline Report and in other places. Shaylin Moore, a rising reporter. So we're going to come back and we're going to have Lou, Donna and Barry joining us to talk about that upcoming game with the commanders in Seattle and the Ravens. So don't go away. Much more on the Sideline Report. <laughs> 